Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Gemini. This is going to be for the beginning to middle of April. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past the shuffling. The links for my Spotify and Apple Music will be down below as well, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I do need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transaction, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, the 1000 subscriber giveaway started yesterday. If you are interested in how to enter, the video is up and I will have a link for that down below. Okay, let's start. For Gemini, oops, Gemini beginning to middle of April, 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 Gemini beginning to middle of April. Gemini beginning to middle of April. What's going on with Gemini beginning to middle of April? Thank you. What's going on with Gemini beginning to middle of April? Gemini. What's going on with Gemini beginning to middle of April? What's going on with Gemini beginning to middle of April? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for a renewal? Thanks. Can I get a clarifier for the Eight of Air? Thanks. Can I get a clarifier for the Sun, please? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for uh, the Six of Earth, please? Thank you. Okay. So. Okay. Really interesting so far, but uh, I'm going to look underneath the deck to see what we got. Okay, so now um, there's a lot of blue in here and we are still in the retrograde, it ends on the 28th and then we have a shadow period that lasts until April 16th, right? So I really feel like this is going to be affecting you guys or mainly affecting your emotions. So if you're wondering why you're feeling um, so strongly, um, I feel like this is stuff like you were in the process of healing from and I feel like you're do you were doing really good and then this retrograde happened and I feel like it kind of like threw you off track a little bit. But um, don't let that energy like give you an illusion because you know, you, you have come, you have really come so far, for real. You've come so far in, like, our last couple of readings. Like, um, if there was an award in the Zodiac for most growth, like, I'd give it to you guys. Because out of all my readings, like, I feel like you struggled so much. And then you really started to come out on top. And, like, I'm really proud of you guys for that. So, um, don't, if you're feeling, if you're feeling down or missing somebody, don't be beating yourself up over it because it's not your fault, it's the planets, okay? That's kind of like all I really want to say about that. Uh, I'm going to get into your reading now. So, I have here you're romanticizing about someone, which is totally um, normal because, you know, it's retrograde. Um, so, yeah, you're romanticizing about somebody. You're romanticizing about the shark, though. Um, you see the truth of a situation and it just gives you a challenging beginning. So you're looking back, looking back at the memories, but you're moving forward. Um, yeah, it's just this person, they keep you attached. Like you guys have cords still attached. And even though they st they're, I feel like you guys are out of this um, situation or relationship, whatever this is, I feel like you guys are out of it. Or, um... Yeah, I feel like you guys are out of it, but I, I feel like the retrograde, I feel like you can feel this person thinking about you, and they can feel you thinking about them, 
but I feel like they also have somebody else. And it's like, I feel like you could feel that too. And like all these cords attaching to you is very draining. And, um, yeah, it's very draining. And you're being asked to give birth to your dreams and nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Yeah, this person is definitely thinking about you. They're, they're watching you. They're watching you. They may be watching you on social media, um, but I feel like they're watching your glow up. I feel like they're watching you take care of yourself. Um, or I feel like, yeah, I feel like this person is just watching you take care of yourself. Um, especially because the situation that you guys were just in, there is a lot of secrets. There was, um, for some of you, some cheating involved. Um, some lying like there's just not really a good energy It's a sneaky energy with this when you deal with this person um yeah a lot of things ha um a lot of things what's the word i'm looking for a lot of things happen behind the scenes a lot of things um also this person likes to give you an illusion that like oh no you're my only one but they have a whole other they have like a whole other lineup of girls i feel like or boys um, but like in my head, the mind, the my mind's eye, I'm seeing like just mad girls, like, like a lot. <laughs> I feel like the person you deal with is like a player, um, and I feel like yeah, you're coming, you're coming out of this this situation because it's like you know this, you know this. Um, you, I feel like you don't have to watch these YouTube videos to know this stuff because your intuition, I feel like, has been talking to you this whole time, and I feel like. You've been in your head going like, oh no, I'm just paranoid, I have trust issues, I don't want to ruin the relationship, but like, I strongly feel like you were super on point. Like, that's what I'm saying, you don't even have to watch this video to know uh, what's going on when you deal with this person. Um, because this is a closed cycle and you're getting a lot of good luck coming your way. Um, it's like the, the, uh, yeah, I feel like the scales are balancing out in your favor or something because this is like good fortune your way. So even though it's hard for you to, um, totally move on from this person, um, cause I feel like with this retrograde, I feel like you want to reach out really bad. I feel like you really want to reach out really bad. Um, yeah, I feel like you really want to reach out really bad, but it's like, you know, and your higher self is telling you, like, no, don't do it. It's like, literally like a kid in a candy shop, like, don't touch anything, and it's like, he is, he's sweating, he's sweating it. But, um, the, the, because you're showing such structure and discipline, um, the rewards are gonna come for you. Um, you're gonna get rewarded for, for being stern with yourself. Yeah, because a lot of things happen behind your back when you deal with this person. And you're being called to take a leap of faith. You're being called to take a leap of faith and um, to leave this person in the dust, really. Um, and you're being called to look within yourself for love. And you're being called to look within yourself for answers. Because this person... They, they just want to hold you back. It's like, um, they don't want the world to have you, but they don't want, they don't want to have you much either. Um, and they don't really want you to step into your greatness. Um, yeah, they don't want you to step into your power, into your greatness, into, into the, um, spiritually awakened being that you are becoming. That's how I feel. And it's like, you're ready to speak your mind to this person because they make you so sad. It's like, you are so ready to speak your mind to this person. They make you really sad. And it's time to move into a new direction without this person. And I feel like you're going to be speaking this to them. Like, it's time that you leave me the fuck alone. That's what I'm getting. Um, and I have here, like, somebody's feeling trapped. I feel like... It's that retrograde energy still coming through. I feel like it makes you feel trapped, like you can't speak up to this person. Um, 
This is like a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. But you're being, um, you're really being told to honor your commitment to yourself and to go into this new direction without, without this person. Because I have here, you're the sun. You're the sun, um, happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, having confidence within yourself. That's what you are. But when you deal with this person, you, you're dealing with some devil energy. There's, there, you feel bound. I guess that's why you feel trapped because you still feel attached to this person. But it's time for you to just go into a new direction. And, um, yeah, it's time for you to go into a new direction. Um, it's time for you to pop out like the sun because when you deal with this person, there's, it's, how do I put this? Um, yeah, you're just bound to this person. This person keeps you down. This person keeps you bound. And there's no moderation, no cooperation, no compromise, no balance when you deal with this person. It's just you pouring your soul into this person who doesn't even really want to receive your cup to begin with. Look at his face. And it's like you are, you're the sun. You don't need to deal with that. It's like, this is you. Oh, no, hold up. Yeah. Uh, no, wrong one. This is you, and this is them. You know what I mean? It's like, you're coming out strong and on top. Um, and it's like, you get some divine knowledge, too, that kind of lets you, like, it snaps you out of it. It, it like, reminds you, like, you know what? These are just the chains that bind me to this person and I can cut them off at any time and I feel like um yeah I feel like you're gonna do that and that makes once you cut this person off I think I set it up in here but that makes the karmic scales balance and it balances in your favor that's why we had the wheel here that good luck it balances in your favor once you cut this person off and then you have the chariot you have the chariot. Self-discipline, willpower. You're getting away from this person completely, cutting yourself free and just going. Um some of the words I couldn't I have had a even right now I'm having a little problem finding the right words because this energy I'm in with you guys is like foggy. It's very foggy. And I also, you may be having a problem trying to find the right words when you're dealing with this person, I feel like. I feel like it's it's hard to find the right words when you deal with this person. But um, overall, let's see. Yeah, I just, I definitely see you looking within for answers because you know deep down this person wants to hold you back. And they make you sad and you're ready to speak out about it. But something just has you feeling trapped. This, this, this retrograde energy just has you feeling a little trapped. But you're being guided to go into that direction. Um, so have some confidence because you're the sun. And this person, there's no balance when you deal with this person. It's all, it's all just attachment and devil energy. Like this person's like a user. They use you because you are the sun. And, um... You're going to be cutting them off, and the scales are going to balance in your favor, and you're going to be flying in the sky. You're going to be going your own direction. Um, okay, I hope that was good for you guys. I'm going to catch you next week. Um, those who skipped in the beginning, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway video is up. Um, the contest started yesterday, so if you are interested in finding out more and how to enter, the link for that will be down below, okay? Alright, everybody. Bye-bye.